Hi, let's take a look at a few editing workflows with New Arch and New Window 8. Under Transport, Main tab, you can use the knobs under the touchscreen to adjust the left and right locator, as well as the snap type you'd like to use for this project, which in this case I will set to Grid, Event, and Cursor. Now you can also use the wrench tool to select a region within the project window you'd like to work with. First make sure that cycle follows wrench selection is engaged, then open the video to define a region within the project. Then select the wrench tool, engage the select button and use the jog wheel to define a section or scene. Next, I just wanted to see the channels inside the locator on both Fader Units and Project Window. First, make sure Sync Visibility of Project and Mix Console is turned on. Then press the Event Cycle Visibility Agent button on the Fader Units to display channels inside the locator. Now you should only see the active channels in both the Fader Unit and Project Window. Next, let's close both the Video Window and Inspector. At this point, you can now select a track or folder you like to edit. In this case, I will select all the active channels inside the locator. Press and hold the Shift button and use the down arrow button to select the channels. In this case, I can use Cut Time, which will cut the highlighted region and move events from the right side of the project to the left side of the project, filling the gap. Or insert Silence to open up the highlighted section. To prevent pops and clicks during editing, make sure that Snap to Zero Crossing is active. Now let's select an event and move it in front of another event. Press and hold the Shift button to move the selected event at a slower speed to accurately place it to the desired position. Now notice the stripes when two events overlaps, defining the overlap section between the two events. Now notice the a red dot on a selected event. If you click on it, you can see which event is in front and back, and manually change the position of the selected event. You might want to move an event to a more precise position within the selected event. For that, set the cursor to the exact position you wish to place an event and select Snap Point to Cursor. Now, if I zoom in on the selected event, you can see a vertical red line at the snap point position. You can now easily move the event to a desired position within the project using the snap point as reference. 